I want to start this interview by wishing you, Pascal, a very happy Mother's Day. Thank you. Of course. And I think it only feels right that we extend a happy Mother's Day to our girl, Rosemary, at this point. I know. Ah, we just watched episode 10 and we know that Rosemary is expecting a baby. Rosemary. <laughs> Pascal, how are you feeling? I'm really pleased with that, that it came to fruition. I'm happy with the story, how it unfolds. You know, after so much speculation for so many seasons from the fans, it was going to be really hard to uh, keep it a secret. Like it was going to be hard storytelling wise to keep it a secret, have her have symptoms and not have everybody just assume right away. And so it really was just a speculation, wait and see. And uh, that's the journey of kind of living in that, I think I am, but I don't know. Rosemary and Lee got married in season three. Kevin, how are you feeling that now here in season nine, your character doesn't know it yet, but yeah. but speaking with, with the wisdom of, of Kevin, the actor, how do you feel about this storyline officially happening? Well, uh, as much as I'd like to take credit for it, it really, it really did not have much to do with me. Pascal made that happen. But no, as far as the storyline goes, I think it was uh, it was a no-brainer. It had to happen at some point. And I'm actually kind of glad that we waited so long because I think it is a struggle for a lot of people. I kind of like that they had to go through this fire first. Um, but really, this is all. Pascal, she made this happen. She was not gonna let it go. Did you have a say in the creative in how it all unfolds for Rosemary? Yeah, I had a lot of say. And I I agree with the choice that I, I'm happy with how it unfolds, that even though the audience knows and suspects about it like right away, I don't know that there was any other way to do that with pregnancy symptoms, our audience is predominantly women, they were going to be like, yeah. spidey senses like, <laughs> bah, 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 she's pregnant. <laughs> and so what I think though, and I'm hoping is the case, is that the fans will really enjoy being in on the secret with Rosemary until Lee finds out. And you know, I, I think it's so interesting because we've always talked about how Rosemary and Lee complete each other. They are finishing each other's sentences. They are each other's yin and yang. And I just felt like, oh my goodness, I couldn't believe that Rosemary learns she's pregnant and she doesn't want to immediately go run to Lee to make him aware of it. What did you make of that, that choice, that creative decision? I think what it does is it builds that suspense and then it's such an amazing cathartic moment when he does find out yeah. and <laughs> uh that i think that that's really special and so that you hopefully get in this story you hopefully get both the vulnerability and cautiousness of Am I pregnant? Is this real? Like you get all that, those emotions and that vulnerability, but you also then ultimately get that huge payoff of just unbridled excitement and enjoyment and it, like just happiness, pure joy, right? And Kevin, you've got a big old smile on your face right now. What can you tease about how Lee will react to this big dream being fulfilled. When I first heard about the, 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 the pause on that reveal, I was like, wait, 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 no, no, no. It has to be big. It has to be special. And like keeping it from him, I thought that that would take away from them, but it didn't. In the end, the reveal is such that it's, I love how it comes about. I love where we are. It's very intimate, just the two of us, which is what I wanted. And it's a really, kind of sweet, funny um, moment of elation. Pascal, I have to tell you, I have joyfully watched you on When Calls the Heart for years, but goodness, you made me reach for the Kleenex box more in this episode than any episode I've ever watched. The first time you made me cry uh, was the scene in the infirmary. You might be pregnant. <laughs> 
Well, that's the funniest thing. With this in, it actually sounded like you said pregnant. I did. I think I need to lie down. After all this time. Was it always your plan to keep Rosemary reserved throughout this process? Because like, we're so used to her being the comedic relief in the room. And to see her reaction, I have to tell you, it surprised me. You know, I've always thought, and what I think we've seen over and over again is the bigger the life moment, the smaller Rosemary gets. And so that made perfect sense to me that it would be as small as possible. Those moments when Lee was in the infirmary and she was at his bedside, like those were, those are really small moments. And I, I always thought that that was an, I've always thought that that's an interesting juxtaposition in her character that the biggest moments get, or she becomes the smallest. And I love it. I think that that's real. So the second time that I cried in the episode is when Rosemary tells Elizabeth that she's expecting. You even have pink cheeks. You look like you're glowing. Rosemary, I was trying to tell you. Yes, maybe, uh, possibly. And my goodness, you and your good friend, Aaron Krako, there are tears in both your eyes. What was it like sharing such an emotional scene together? I knew it was gonna be really special, but it, um, you know, it caught me off guard because she's, she was so emotional in such a beautiful way. And I just think it's such a testament to their friendship and how close those two really are. They really are, you know, have each other's back for everything and wanting to share in every single moment, good and bad and everything in between. <laughs> We've got two more episodes left in the season. What can you tease about what's to come? There are still a lot of unexpected twists and turns to this story. It's just still an unexpected journey that is unfolding. It's not just, yay, we're pregnant and here we go. There's a lot of twists and turns and it's not totally smooth. I would also say that it's not really over after the two episodes either. The twists and turns that are being established over the next two episodes, they are still gonna be twisting and turning into season 10 if we're so lucky. Yes. Is Lee going to pick up on any subtleties or any clues? Lee's a nice guy and, and I, I, I love Lee, but I don't think he picks up on those little things very easily. I think it, it, this marriage for him has been blunt force trauma from day one. So I think he needs large knocks on the head to see the little small things. So uh, I think that uh, the best thing you can say is that when we get to the end of the season, um, it's it's going to be an overwhelming feeling of joy, I think, for this couple. And it's been a long time coming. Mm -hmm. So I hope people enjoy it as much as we enjoyed making it.